Hello, my name is Sierra Rep, and I'm a mechanical engineering major from Ashland, Oregon. Today, we're going to be making floating art. For this activity, you need a dry erase pen, a plate or bowl that is glass, and a little bit of water. Uh, for this project, we're going to be drawing a shape or design on our plate and then pouring water very close to the drawing so that it floats. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dry erase marker and draw a shape on our plate. This shape can be as simple or complex as you want, but just know that the more complex your shape is, the more difficult it will be to use the water to lift it up. So now that we have our shape drawn, we're gonna pour the water very close to our shape, but not directly on it. This will help get the water underneath the shape so that it comes off of the plate easier. I'm gonna lift it up make it pour a little nicer. Oh, you got on top. Oh no, there we go. It takes a little bit of practice, but eventually our shape will lift off of the plate. And he starts to float around. The reason behind why this works is because the dry erase marker ink is supposed to stick onto smooth surfaces and then be wiped off easily. But because it's supposed to wipe off easily, it doesn't actually stick to the surface very well. Dryer ink's marker ink is also a non-polar substance, meaning that it doesn't dissolve in water, so your drawing will stick together when it comes in contact with the water. When the water gets underneath the drawing, it pushes the drawing away from the plate because the forces of the water underneath the drawing are more than the forces of the drawing sticking to the smooth surface of the plate. That's why it lifts off. This is my floating drawing, but I'd love to see yours. Send pictures of your floating drawing to robotics at uv.edu. And thanks for watching.